In this video, you will learn how to append two data frames in Python. Let's say you have two data frames df1 and df2 and you want to append them below each other. You can use the method append. Before we start coding, I'll explain you how this append function works. For example, we have two data frame, data frame 1 and data frame 2. And in this both the data frame, we have same number of columns that is 5. 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 here also 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. Now if we want to append this data frame to below this data frame 1, then we can call the method append and our result data frame will be this one. So what will happen? We will have all these values or all these samples and below this we will have this data frame 2 samples. So this original data frame had 5 rows and this also had 5 rows. Now the appended data frame which is a new one will have 10 rows and they will be below each other. So that is how we can use this append method and it will help us a lot whenever we want to append multiple data frames and combine them to make one data frame. This is how the append function will work. Now let's go to the Jupyter notebook and see how it works. Let's import pandas as pd. I'll make one variable df1 df1 and then I will read a csv file pd.read underscore csv and my csv file name is sample1.csv now let us look at the head of our data frame we have this here so we have status units magnitude and subject we have status like active units is dollars magnitude is 14 subject is wholesale now we will import one more data frame df2 I will call pd dot read underscore csv and then sample 2 dot csv now let us also look at the head of this data frame df dot 2 dot head we have this uh, status deactive unit as pounds magnitude is 50 and subject is retail let us check the shape or oh, let me print the entire data frame and this is the entire data frame we have 406 rows and then for this we have df2 uh, we have 160 rows or uh, let me do one thing df1 dot shape then df2 dot shape so we have 406 plus uh, 406 plus 160 which is 406 plus 160 total 566 rows now when we will append these two data frames in the output we should get 566 rows now let's append it i'll make one new data frame and the data frame will name will be result underscore df then i will call df1 our first data frame which is this one df1 then i will call the data of uh, the function or the method append and then df2 now here instead of df1 you can also pass df2 and instead of df2 you can also pass df1 that doesn't matter uh, it matters only if you want to change the output for for example if you want your data frame 2 to be on the top then you will have to write df2 here otherwise you will write df2 here now let us execute the code and now let us print result underscore df now here in the output you will see we got 566 rows and as i have said earlier we should get total 566 rows if we do the append of this and if i do result underscore df dot head in head we have uh, these rows actives dollars magnitude is 14 subject is wholesale and if i do result underscore df dot tail now in tail you will see we have status deactive then a unit is pounds magnitude is 50 subject is retail and if you look at the index so here you will see we have index here i have printed the entire data frame and here you will see the index are not proper it is starting with 0 and it is ending here at 159 which is not correct we should have this 566 or 565 as the index number 
and to get your index properly we have to pass one more parameter so here you will write comma and then pass one parameter which is ignore underscore index and then we have to set it as true now let us execute the code now if i execute this line of code so here instead of 159 you will see 565 or 566 let us execute our code now here you will see in the output we got 565 as the index number so now the index numbers are also correct this is how you can append two data frames in pandas it's very very easy you just have to call the method append as you have seen here just call the method append and then pass a two data frame df1 df2 and that's it you will be able to append it easily i hope you enjoyed this video if you like my video you can subscribe to my channel thank you for watching